With Flows for Apex 24.1, we, we introduce simple forms. The idea behind a simple form is to give you the possibility as a process engineer to model your process and add for a user task simple forms for which you don't have to do any data modeling nor have to build a custom Apex app yourself. Just a combination of the usage of a simple form in your process together with the simple process starter app will get you up to speed. Let me walk you through the steps to undertake to accomplish this. First, we need to create a template. So I'm going to create a template here. Let's say we have a supplier entry form I would like to have and at first, I'm going to create an entry here. And right now, as you can see in this field, JSON field, I have to enter the required JSON that will make up my form. Of course, we don't require you to enter JSON here. So we've supplied you with a simple form builder. By clicking on that, you can right away start defining your form here. Uh, to get the required JSON. So for that, I will create a new form, say it's going to be supplier entry, add some fields to it. So let's say a name is going to be of type string. I'm going to add an industry as well. also as a string required and let's save the form definition by clicking on show form i can actually look how the form looks like so we have two fields beside each other would like to have them below each other and to fill out the whole screen uh, to accomplish this i will set the call span to 12 save again and show the form so now I have both fields spanning the, across the whole screen and I have two fields underneath each other. So what I also would like to do is the industry to be a list of values. So I click on industry, add a new row, choose enumeration and supply the values that are allowed in the list of values. Let's say banking, insurance, as an example. Click on show form, and now I have a list of values where I can choose my value here in this list. By clicking on copy JSON, I can copy over the whole JSON I just created into the clipboard. By returning into the Flows for Apex app, I can now past that JSON and now I'm done with the form um, creation itself. But I don't have a process yet where I can actually leverage that form. So for that I click on flow management, click on create a model, let's say this is going to be supplier entry form, a process, uh, let's click on create here. And now we are off starting uh, the modeling of our process. So I'm going to create a very basic process here with a start event and an end event. And in between, uh, it will be a user task that requires you to enter the form. Of course, the whole process should be startable. And by clicking on the user task, and I can now say, not only I want to have an Apex page or an Apex approval, but I, in this case, I would like to have an Apex simple form. As we have installed previously, uh, the simple process starter app, which is also part of the software in, uh, distribution. So you can just import that app and you're ready to go. I can then choose that application over here in this list. Also the page, click on generate default items to do back and forth communication, choose the form template item 
and now you can choose the required form. We just entered the supplier entry uh, form, so let's choose that one. And these settings I did here above are all the time the same. Yeah, so you will get that uh, acquainted with that very soon. Um, so you can use that for all the forms you have been building. The last step I need to do is the assignment. So uh, normally yeah, nobody is allowed to execute that task. Uh, so in this case to enter a simple form. So in my simple process starter app, I've uh, added an Apex role called admin. So if the user, the Apex user is part of that Apex role, um, then he's allowed to execute this task. Apply changes and go back to uh, the simple process starter. So I'm executing this right now as an end user. And here you have my processes. By clicking on start process, I can now select the supplier entry form. And by pressing the button start progress process, it will then uh, instantiate um, an instance of, of that process. So right now it's running. You can click on uh, process status. I can see that it's now uh, hanging at the supplier entry form. And by clicking on my tasks, I can see not only the simple form, but I can see all tasks across all applications in the Apex workspace. That can be a simple form, that can be an Apex approval task, that can also be an Apex page. Right now I have a simple form uh, and I, there are two ways to get that simple form being displayed. I can click on the title and I can also click on process status. And then you notice there's a link here and there it also spins up the simple form. So in this case, I'm going to say all in incorporated it's a retail company and i'm going to click on supplier um, apply changes in that case this task was done and it all comes to an end so you might wonder where did my data go to as an application administrator i have this section visible with the form data so by clicking on form data, I can see here now the entries I entered in the simple form. I can click on the magnifier as well to see those entries. But as, uh, as you want to maybe to do further data processing, I can also leverage here a predefined query. And that should of course match with your simple form. So let's say I'm going to pass it over here click on run and now I see don't see any details because it's looking in my JSON construct for a street and a city which I of course I don't have so let's change this to name and industry and maybe the header I would also like to have similar and let's run it again and now I can see both entries appearing in the outcome One more remark uh, I have to make as well uh, regarding the simple process starter app. As you can see, there is this process trigger here. And there might be some processes out there that require you to first enter a form and submit it before the process gets kicked off. And, and this is something you, you cannot model in, in, in BPMN. So with this app, you have the possibility to hook up a simple form with a process that should be submitted first before the process kicks off. Uh, upon installing Simple Process Starter App, you already get the order process installed by default. So I recommend you start that process. And here you can also see not only the process, but to kick off this process, you first have to enter all the details here. As you can see, simple forms are a really powerful feature that requires zero knowledge of, of Apex itself. So try it out yourself.